Hey everyone, my name is Ben, and I was here today to show you my Akaya Pearl pour over stand. It also comes with a built in floating iPhone, iPad base, which you could put your iPad or your iPhone on in order to remotely use your Pearl scale. The Pearl scale already looks great on any uh, kitchen counter, but I wanted to have something where I could utilize the app that is free to download and the scale at the same time in one beautiful piece. So that's when I created this base and I cut out a section of the wood, placed some cork board in the bottom of it to prevent the scale from shifting when I lift the uh, base around and um, and also cut it out so that it feels like one piece and not that the pearl is just sitting on top of a piece of wood. And then I also added some custom hardware as well, uh, some legs made of brass with padding on the bottom uh, so that you can easily move it around uh, without kind of banging it around and also some accent custom pieces right there. And today I was gonna brew some coffee using a V60. I have some beans here from 49th Parallel, which is a Canadian roastery. And I tried it for the first time today and it was excellent. So I was gonna brew some more up right now and showing you how this stand works. So I've pre-measured uh, 27 grams of this bean right here. And I'm gonna put it in to my grinder. All right, now that my beans are ground, I'm gonna place the heat pad on top of the scale there so that we don't damage it, and I will tear it so it zeroes out. Then I'm gonna take my grinds out, and then I'm going to place my server as well as my V60. Now you could also brew with uh, any sort of pour over on this scale, and it works great. Um, I also have a Chemex as well. Uh, that I use quite often on here. What I typically do when I want to brew coffee, I do what's called a brewing print. And this helps you time, weigh, um, and kind of have a consistent cup of coffee every single time by recording your ratio, your grind size, your total brewing time, your water temperature, your bean weight, um, and actually even the device that you're brewing on. So today we're brewing on a V60, and I will select that once again. And you can even record what beans you are brewing. So today, once again, as I said, 49th Parallel, or Kenya, uh, right there. So I already know that we're gonna have 27 grams of beans because I pre-weighed it there. So our grounds will be 27 grams, and it'll tell you exactly the, the, with the ratio how much water you should place inside there. Now, of course, before you start brewing, you need to pre-wet your filter to get the paper taste out and also to pre-warm your server as well as your brewing device here so that you don't lose a lot of heat. So once you do that, of course, you remove the water and replace there and I'm gonna tear it once again. And once I do that, I could add my grounds. All right. Shake it out a little bit. And typically what I like to do is to create a little divot. Now that everything is set and ready to go, I'm gonna tear one more time to zero out my scale and I'm gonna hit next, which will bring me to the brewing print main screen. Right. So then I'll take my kettle and we will begin. Gives you three seconds lead. And I pour, I'm gonna pour about 60 grams of water in here to begin our brew. Now the app is allowing us to bloom and all of this is customizable. You know, how long you want your bloom to be, how many grams you want to pour, and what the timing mechanism will be. 
uh, for your brew. And so after, with a lot of practice, I've gotten a consistent cup with my time settings that I've placed right inside here. And eight seconds before we start pouring again. Now I'm going to pour an additional 180 grams of water here while pouring uh, kind of a soft stream in concentric circles right in the middle of my grounds. Now I want to be careful so I don't get too close to the paper filter itself because water can then bypass the coffee grounds and drop into your server without actually extracting which will result in a, a watery cup which wouldn't be good. Right. Okay. Once again, I'm pretty close to being in sync with my timer here. So it's gonna allow me another 20 seconds of drawdown before I start pouring uh, my last pour. And now I'm going to pour in the same way that I was pouring before until my overall weight ends at about 420 grams. And once again, I know 420 grams because it still says on my screen here. And as you can hear, the app warns me once I get to that predetermined weight. And so the remaining time is counting down as the rest of the water brews down. Five seconds remaining. And we'll hit done. Just in time for this fruit to finish. Now I'll take this off to the side. All right. And what's really great here, once you've brewed, it's kept track of your rate of pour um, and also the weight of the water and it maps it all out, which you can save within the app. So if you uh, are experimenting and uh, come up with a great cup of coffee, you could always refer back and see exactly everything that you've done uh, in order to reproduce that cup uh, over and over again. So if you really like your brew, you'll rate it and you can even make it public if you want to share it with people and then click share. And I didn't as well, but you could also take photos of your brew if you really want to. Uh, and share that with your brewing print. So now that we have a finished brew here, I'm going to pour her a cup of coffee. There you have it. So everyone, thanks for watching and checking out my custom Akaya Pearl olive wood stand. And uh, I'm gonna go have some coffee. Thanks.